Hey guys, I'm Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time with my top picks for new comic book day. If you want to see what books I pick, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. All right, sorry guys, this was a little late this week. It was got a little busy uh, with Moon Knight series coming up and a lot of stuff on the back burner. So uh, I usually like to get this out a little bit earlier, but uh, it didn't work out this week. But I'm still going to give you my, my best picks for the week because um, I still consider New Comic Book Day on Wednesdays, not Tuesdays. So um, starting off this week, we're going to start my number five. It's going to be from DC, and it's going to be Batman Face Clan number one. I'm going to stick with the uh, cover A. It's a one-shot promotional collaboration featuring Face Clan, an esports gaming organization popularized uh, via social media and their uh, high-profile partnerships. I think it's going to be... Uh, Pretty interesting read. It's going to be written by Josh Trujillo and illustrated by Tyler Kirkham. Um, so, uh, Batman Beyond the White Knight, number one, will be my number four pick of the week. Um, excited to see this series return. Uh, big fan of Sean Gordon Murphy. He, um, he did post that uh, cover A was a little underprinted. I, I actually like cover A. It is going to be the uh, first appearance of Robin, a female of Mongolian descent, working on the Red Hood. Um, it does sound pretty interesting, so I'm going to give that a shot. All right, so number three this week is going to be Shadow War Alpha, issue number one. We got, it looks like a possible first team appearance of the Demon Shadow, but more importantly, it's going to be the death of Ra's al Ghul. And uh, it looks like from the issue, he gets sniped by uh, <laughs> Deathstroke and he actually vaporizes. So I think this is going to be a permanent death, which is key. Um, so look out for that book as well. I think it's going to be a good read as well. Um, let's see. Number two this week, I'm going to go with Hulk Grand Design Monster issue number one. I think this is going to be a fun read for... People out there who are, you know, want to read a little bit of the Incredible Hulk's backstory. It's going to be a two-part series um, written and illustrated by Jim Rung. And it's going to talk about the Hulk from the beginning to current. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. There's a few covers on this one. I do like the uh, cover A. I'm not a big fan of the Incredible Hulk 340 homage. doesn't look that good by Ed Pisker. But um, if you're interested in that, check that out. And for number one this week, before we get to number one, I'm going to give you a couple of honorable mentions, a couple of books I was looking at that just missed the cut. Um, Something is Killing the Children, number 21. The series is back. There's going to be a ton of variants. They even have some up to a 1 in 100. It is a first appearance of Gabby, a new recruit to the Order of St. George. That just missed the cut this week. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 127. Um, first appearance of... Venus, Venus de Milo. <laughs> I think it's a pretty, pretty lame name for a new character. I can't get behind uh, characters of personally a banquet that we have back home. So <laughs> just gonna stay away from that book. Um, and there is a couple of uh, new X Men series this week. Is Immortal X Men number one? Um, not really interested in that. But uh, leading into my number one this week, coming from Marvel is going to be Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 93. This is going to be my hot pick of the week. Definitely for your speculators, it's going to be, you know, a book that's going to be going up in value pretty quickly. So for your readers out there that want to get this issue, I'd probably call your LCS right away. Or uh, if you have it already on your pull list, it's not a big deal. But this book's going to, this book's going to be hot. It is the final issue, and you know me, I'm a big fan of final issues, especially in a long run. Um, a, few, a few interesting keys here. It's besides the few, uh, the final issue. It is Ben Riley. Um, he ends up turning into this new villain called Chasm. Um, from what I've researched and and looked around on the internet, it is the character's first full appearance. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be going after Cover C, which is the Gleason variant, which is also the first cover appearance. So if you can get that. 
go for it. The 1 in 25 is also a really nice one by Gerardo Sandoval. Both books are selling pretty well in the secondary market right now. And that's it for this week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Rock Spectre Comics. Out.